In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate mass defect and nuclear binding energy. The first question reads, calculate the mass defect and nuclear binding energy per nucleon, and the units are in mega electron volts for carbon-16, a radioactive isotope of carbon with a mass of 16.014701 atomic mass units. The first thing that I want to do is decode what this 16 means. That is the atomic mass of this isotope. And using the atomic mass, we can actually calculate the amount of neutrons. So if you take 16, the atomic mass unit, and subtract it by the amount of protons a carbon atom has, which is 6, we end up with 10 neutrons. And this is important because we need this to calculate the mass defect. The formula for mass defect is as follows. We have mass defect is equal to the amount of protons, 6, times the mass of one hydrogen atom. That's technically one proton. The mass of hydrogen is 1.00783, and that can be found in any textbook. Let me write that down. And the units here are atomic mass units. We'll add this to the mass of all the neutrons. So we said that there are 10 neutrons, and we'll multiply that by its mass. The mass of one neutron is equal to 1.00866. 1.00866, and once again, that's in AMU, minus the mass given here for the isotope of carbon, which is 16.014701. Let's go ahead and calculate the mass defect. Using our calculator really quickly, you should end up with 0 0.118879. And keep in mind significant figures. So we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 here, 5 after the decimal place here, so we should also have 5 after adding. 0 0.118879. And I'll place a dot underneath the 7 just to signify that that is the last most significant figure. Next, we want to calculate the nuclear binding energy per nucleon. To do this, we have to take this number and use the conversion where one atomic mass unit is equal to 931.5 mega electron volts. Once we convert this into mega electron volts, we can then divide that number by the amount of nucleons per one atom. And that's basically the amount of neutrons plus the amount of protons, 16 in this case. So let's do one step at a time. Let's convert this 0 0.118 879, and that's an AMU. We'll multiply this by one AMU at the bottom, and at the top, 931.5 MeV. This will cancel out. Let's use our calculator. You should end up with the following number. Don't round it yet, and divide this by 16. You can round this number to four significant figures. So 6.921. 6.921 MeV per nucleon. And there you have it. If you'd like to see the answer to question number two, just leave us a comment below. We've already created the video, the solution for this question. Leave us a comment below and we'll gladly upload it for you. Hope to hear from you soon.